Good morning YouTube, Happy New Year! Chris the Country Cottage Gardener and I welcome you back to another video! 2022, wonder if this year is going to bugger off at the same speed last year did. Anyway, I'll keep this introduction short and sweet and I'm on my way to a regular client so I've taken you along the journey for two, two visits so far um, and one of them was a hedge reduction uh, tidy up it was two years or two and a half years or whatever it was of cutting in one go bringing it back into order a little bit and another time was on my weekly where I was doing some some work in you know, amongst the beds and such anyway we're mid-January and it's stone time is going to be coming where lawns are going to be in action and at the property I'm going to there's a few bits where I've been re-establishing edging and such around the garden and there's this one particular bit where it drops off to some gravel and I can just tell what's going to happen is when I come to do the mowing I'm going to catch some of the gravel and it's going to one blunt in the blades or two going to flick some stones up and take out a window or hit somebody else's car or something like that so one of the things that I like to do if I can on these larger properties is sort of re-establish all of these edges and make them sweep so when the mowing season comes round they're all ready for me, you know, they're taken care of. So anyway, I've gone and loaded up some sand, I've got some cement and uh, I'll catch up with you in a second and I'll show you the area that I'm going to be breaking out and actually re-establishing and making it a little bit better and more effective for when I work. Anyway. Catch you in a minute. Beautiful, right, okay, so here I am. I'm going to show you the area, but basically, we've got this large expanse of lawns all around here, and this is the area that I'm looking at. So, you can just see a little bit of curbstone there. I've had a dig around and I can see it in there. It is down there, believe me. Now, I could have actually just done a railway sleeper along here. Of course I could, but then there's no footings for it, so I'd have to do a big haunch of concrete. Well, I don't want to do that, because it slopes off anyway, which would then mean building all this area up, which maps up with the new patio. So, basically what I'm going to do is find this, dig it out, bring it up, and then re-haunch it back in. The first thing, so let's get some digging implements and uh, find the edge. Okay, so I've just taken a few minutes just digging along there. I found the concrete haunching all along this side. So I've brought along my concrete breaker here. This is by Draper. This old girl has been with me for some years and I'll tell you what, it's paid its money well and truly time and time again. It's what I use for fencing a lot of it. They don't actually make this model anymore, but when she does die, I wouldn't hesitate in getting another Draper. Anyway. I'm going to try and fracture the concrete haunching along here and hopefully this edging will pull out but we won't know until we 
get down there and make some noise. Gonna have to have a change of plan because they've all fractured they've all gone uh, along the way i i it was always going to be a bit of a, a thing whether this could happen I, it's not because of the the breaker some of the vibes might have made some of the cracks worse for sure but um when i was uncovering the top there's a couple of little fine hairlines and i kind of thought well that'll be all right but anyway that's what it is. So I've had a quick word with the client, no problems at all. It's always going to be a thing that was in the mind. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to nip off to my fencing supplier and I'm going to pick up two railway sleepers because they're two and a half meters each. This is four meters along here. I've just plumbed it up with my, I don't know if anybody else uses, I use a tape measure, but I also use one of these little digital Dewalt laser things. Um, absolutely fantastic on a dull day, you know. It'll still take a measurement, but with the little dot, you can see where it is. Anyway, so there we are, back in the van, and go get a couple of sleepers now. Right, okay, so after my little adventure out, I've gone and got two sleepers from one of my suppliers, phoned them up before I went, and said, Please get them ready for me. Tap the car, boom, on my way. Good like that. So anyway, had a little chat with the client. We've got one of two options I've put with him because the sleepers are slightly bigger, which actually do match in with these other ones better anyway. Um, because we want to retain the path, which is slightly higher than the, the lawn, we've got to, you know, go slightly higher, obviously. But then they've had a new patio put in over here before I came to the came to the gardens. And if I was to keep a certain height, I would be above the new patio. So we've got two options. So the two options being we keep a lip and finish the sleepers here, or we carry it on down and finish over there and have a slight lip there. Let's have another conversation and uh, see what they did, see what they go for. Right, so I've had a little measure up, and that gap is 69 inches. So I'm going to use my roofing square and just go all the way around it and cut through with my circular saw. You could do it with a chainsaw, a quarter, or a handsaw. But I do two passes, one on each side with the circular.
There we are, not far off. Actually only about eight mil down on this slab. I've got eight mil up over there. So for uh, eyeing it out, it's not too bad. I can put some of this pea gravel concrete mix back underneath and that will help with the drainage. Because when you have a look underneath it, it's very wet. All that concrete was really holding this water back. You see that down there? Anyway, let's put a little bit. Gonna put some of that rubbish back down in there and then compact it down. Same with that other sleeper. I'm just gonna put some of that broken hardcore down underneath. One, to give it a secure base and two, to help with some drainage and you know, get the water away from these sleepers. Because sleepers, well, they rot at the moment, don't they? <laughs> you know, the quality of them. I'm only gonna be retaining it on this side because I haven't actually broken away, apart from a bit over here, the concrete haunching from the old retainer is still over the lawn side so I'm actually using that as an old edge for otherwise I'll have to put a string line up. my little seedling so this is that job jobbed I'll just fling the camera around and um, show you what else and then I've got a few little things to chat about about at this clients here we are I've gone through and put a bit of new topsoil along here and then we can grass seed it when the weather picks up slightly although this was grass seeded before Christmas around here and look at this ridiculous so that's a month's worth of growth in winter uh, anyway so there we are that's the concrete haunching all through there topsoil they've all been tied in with fixings all through and just down to the end so once this is all set up we're going to pull this back and tidy it through and then we're going to take some of the gravel from the front because it's quite a lot out there and we're going to bring it down this way to to loosen some of it up there because it can give it a slip sliding and uh, utilize it down here so that's just taken me a couple of hours it's about half past one now and um, time I had gone to the uh, originally and got the sand and the cement and whatever uh, I got here probably about quarter to nine I would have thought but anyway two things to talk about I'm back here again next week because out in one of the fields there I'm going to be replacing a gate post a field gate post so I'll do a video for that for you. I've just been chatting about the walled pond, uh, swimming pool over there. And that wall isn't none too clever. So I'm actually going to price up to see if it's feasible to be knocking the walls down on three sides. And um, on all four sides, sorry. And doing fencing. So that could be a good one for you. Anyway, that's this one done. If you haven't already subscribed, I urge you to do so. I thank you to all those who have been following along in your support, and we'll catch up with another one soon. Cheers.